Welcome back to the channel. This is your home girl, Samira Z Fashion Channel, home of trendy styles. I want to say a very big thank you for you being there to watch my video all the time. Thank you, thank you so much. So today's video is very interesting because we are making concerts. This is actually my first video on concerts. So we yeah, are doing this video to teach you guys how to cut a simple concert. And this concert that we are making is off shoulder concert. It's going to have a sweetheart at the front, very beautiful star. So concert is everywhere everywhere so i said let me put this video to teach you guys how to cut it on your own how to sew it on your own so don't forget to subscribe to my channel just click the subscribe button under my video to subscribe now if you have not done that and thank you for subscribing already my host subscribers don't forget to share my video with your friends with your loved ones so that they too can also learn and Remember to drop your comments. I want to see what I want to hear. I want to see what you think about my videos. I want to get comments from you. And uh, if you need a particular topic, don't um, hesitate by telling me so that I can do a video on it. Thank you once more again. Watch this video to the end. Hello. This is Samira. We are making a concept today corset corset that's trendy so this one is up sugar corset that we are making today so this is it as you can see it on the diagram i've drawn it but i will explain now so what i did here is that as we are making it up sugar what you do is just for you to remove from the shoulder so i removed from my shoulder with my paper 5.5 that is five and a half to get our half length. So this is the half length line that you can see. So after that, I now mark from my off shoulder that I've removed from to get my nipple. So this is my nipple line and under bust line. So this is it as you can see on the diagram. So, after making it like this, so you come back to start with your corset body. So, what I did here again, just for me to remove 0 0.5, 0 0.5 meaning five um, half. So, you mark it from the upper side to your under bust. So, you can see this, this is where I ended it. So we have gotten our 0 0.5 line. So that is the line you can see. So after having this line too, you will now start with your measurement, like making it as that first. So what I did from this, I marked, starting from this place first, I marked 3.5. So this is 3.5. 3.5, 3.5 down to the under bus. That's what I did there. 3.5 down to the other bus to get my line down to the half length. So that is it. That is what I did. I've got this line that you can see now. 3.5. Yes. This 3.5. After that, we now do it as if you want to make a bossier first. What I mean is that, so I started with with my table. I marked one inch, marking one inch under the boss. That is under your boss. Marking one inch under the boss. You come to the half length marking one inch under the bus so i've got in my one one inch so this is the one, one inch you can see from the line on the center line mark one inch mark one inch the other side you mark one inch you mark one inch so after doing that you now connect it 
so i connected it this is it so this one we connect it to the other bus from the other bus we connect it to the press point as you can see it here so the other side of it you connect it from your half length to the other bus from the other bus to your breast point this is it now so we've gotten this side of it now so now is our very original concept we are trying to make it now so this is the ceremony now we want to make it so now you can see my curve my french curve that i'm using now so from your under bust now that's when you now start this your so called corsets because you are making a corset of shoulder remember corset of shoulder is what we are making so from the under bust now that's where you now get this your curving so i started it from this side of it because this is the middle side so i connected it from the middle side i curved it to the under bus to your breast points so this is it we've gotten it there so from the other side of it you start with your curving again with your curve you curve it just lay it like this you lay it you curve this is the curving and you curve it out again to connect so by the time you curve you connect it to the nipple so now you've got in your curve can you see it now yes we're done with that but you know don't forget to get the side of it to get the side of it so what i did on this line because this is our middle line we have gotten from 3.5 to get our middle line so for this other side i just place the tape and mark four don't forget that i hope you understand so you mark four so on this your four that's when you now get this your line first so don't be confused you get this your line before you now connect it and get your to your nipple point so that is it so we have done with the ceremony now and you can see that it has come out good so this is the corset body bust so after that now before we now start our measurement of the body so the measurement of the body now we start so this is your bust line now that the nipple line this is the under bust and already having your Measurement for the bus. Your measurement for the bus. You start. This is the measurement of the bus. Measurement of the bus is 33. So is 34. So you mark your 34. Divide your measurement by 4. So divide 34 by 4. What will it give you? It will give you. 8.5 so you mark your 8.5 after marking your 8.5 remember what you added here when we added we added one at this side of it one at this side of it so that means it's two so you now remember to add your two so that you're not shorting your measurement after having your body of your bus measurement which is this you mark and add your bus the allowance that you already put here because later when cutting it will cut it out so you add your two here so that is it your allowance so remember to add your allowance again if you are adding one and uh, two if you are adding one fine depending on what you want to add so this is what we add here so now we have gotten our boss measurements so you come to your under bus because this is the under bus now measure under bus is 34 
and that bus is 32 so you mark your 32 this is your 32 you mark it and remember to add this allowance that you later cut out add your two because it's two that we added one at this side one at this side so you add your two you bring it back before adding your allowance of the body that you want to add so you add it so that is it so this is it now so we have gotten our under bust measurement so you come to the waist side of course your aft your waist there your waist is 26 we do now. so this is the line of the waist so we are doing the waist side now the measurement so the waist measurement so this is it you mark it and remember to add your two that you want to remove later so this is it and add your proper measurement of the allowance so that is it so we've gotten the measurement now so now just wait to connect connect it from the west side now we connect So from the under bus to the bus side, connect, connect. So that is it. Um, so now we want to make the neck now. We are making it as sweet out. So just mark with your tape. Just mark to get your sweetheart. So this is it. So now this is your sweetheart. So we're done with the front side of it. So just for us to cut it out now. So I'm trying to cut it out. So we start with the neck first. That is it. We remove the next side. So you cut. I'm cutting it. So we are making up shoulder corsets. It's up shoulder corsets. That's making. So now. You're cutting. You start from this side of it. You cut. To the under boss. So that is it. To the under boss. So we cut it out with this. So you start with your side and cut. So cut it to the under side. This our shoulder corset that we are making. So this is it. Try not to forget it to mark it. So I'm marking this side so that you'll not be confused when you want to place it on fabric. So this is the center. CF. So this is the side. I'm just indicating it for you to see. So we're done with it. We're done with it. So that is Mom. it. So let me cut. So we're done with this one now. What five? 
Okay. So we start. So remove your dart. As we said, we remove that dart. As we already placed it on the other side. So the dart is off now. So use it. So we're done with it now. So So this is the back side now that we are making. There is no ceremony again of making the back just for us to place it. And so I have placed it now. So this is the allowance. This is the allowance that I put here. So this is the allowance side of it. So that is it. So just for you to connect it so that it will be balanced. So now this is it. So just for us to remove it, so I'm removing it now. Remove it. So this is the back side. So just for you to cut. So I'm cutting it out because we've done it. It is the zip side. So we'll cut out. B for the minute. Hmm? Right. B. Okay, yeah. back. So, so this is the back side. So this is the zip side. So we're done with it. So just for you to put it on your fabric. Good. I hope you understood what we did on the video about the concept i hope you really enjoyed it and you watch it to the end you can also watch it again so that you'll be able to learn and cut it on your own the style is trendy and it's very beautiful you make it on your top you make it on your like your flow dress dinner dress so you can use the pattern you can place it on your material and you can use it to make any dress that you want to wear out. It's very beautiful. There's this uh, beauty in this uh, concept style. So just watch the video again so you'll be able to learn how to cut it on your own. That's the essence of making this video for you to learn. And um, don't forget to um, share the video with your loved ones also. And uh, remember to subscribe. Subscribe to my channel. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. If you have not done that, do it now. Just click the subscribe button under my video to subscribe so that whenever I upload beautiful videos like this, you'll be able to watch it first and uh, comment, share my video, give my video a thumbs up. So I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.